Hello. I already fucked this up. <laughs> <laughs> We're leaving that in the video. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, okay. Here we go. Welcome to Three Best Friends One Shot, where uh, we just talk about something. It's usually just one of us. It could be a couple of us or all three of us. This week, we're going to talk about our favorite, our worst, and our most hidden gem of the Nintendo 64 generation. I'm here joined by the two other co-hosts of Three Best Friends Podcast, Jake Palmer. Hello. And Mike Tender. Hey, you Pikachu. Okay, so <laughs> let's start with Mike. Mike, what is your best Nintendo 64 game? My best is a super obvious one for both of you because we talked about it during our uh, top five games of all time topic. It is Star Fox 64. Mm, of course. Yeah. Quick recap for anybody who hasn't listened to the favorite games episode. Uh, Star Fox 64 is a game where it's the first game where me and my father really connected uh, with video games for the first time ever because my dad always pressured me into playing baseball or trying out for football or being super active he always hated the nerd culture stuff that i was getting into uh so uh, we really connected over star wars and whatnot so star fox is nintendo star wars so it was an easy way for us to connect and he would legitimately sit down in the corner of my bed with me and cheer me on as i'm shooting down bitches in fucking corn area and stuff <laughs> um it's a game that i replay religiously i do i usually start my year by doing an N64 playthrough and then midway through or end of the year, I'll do um, a playthrough or two on the 3DS one. With Rumble um, Pack, right? With Rumble Pack, of course. Yeah. The only way. Always. Seriously. Um, yeah, it's the first game that I really experienced having like multiple paths and different endings. Blew my mind having like multiple boss battles at the end, like how Andros could be like just monkey, robot, or just brain. Which, fucking crazy to me at the time mm -hmm. that's like such a norm right now like in modern gaming but it yeah um i think i have that game memorized like the fucking palm of my hand that's like the only game i really have that for um like more so than mario 64 or mario 3 or anything like that um and it's just the characters are just so fucking lovable and have so much personality <laughs> <laughs> dude it's so good um and i love it like i mean the most heartbreaking thing was in the wii u generation it coming back and like it seemed like it was coming back with in like full fucking force and it just being terrible but the best part about it was we got the puppets and that's how i always imagined oh, yeah. those characters yeah. being like because they're they literally look like hand puppets on the bottom of the screen yeah. um and in New York, there's the uh, Nintendo New York store, and um, usually they have uh, they highlight a certain game. Um, they usually they have like a, a standee on their second floor. Like recently, it was I guess recently it was Odyssey, and they had like a whole Odyssey thing before that. They it was a whole Breath of the Wild thing where they had like a big Master Sword and like the original NES carts of the original Zelda and Link into the Past and stuff like that, and like a lot of the floor plans and level design plans and blueprints and stuff. It's really cool. So when Star Fox Zero was announced, they had the actual puppets that they used in the presentation. And it just, seeing the puppets in person, uh, it was soon after my father passed away. Um, seeing those, I almost like totally broke down the floor in the store because it just brought me back to being a dumb kid. And yeah, but long story short, Star Fox 64, my favorite game of all time and my personal best N64 game. I heard... Uh, those puppets were stolen. Do you know anything about that? I don't. I think I heard that also, which is fucking tragic. Oh, man. So <laughs> that's like, for me, that's also like the last bastion of uh, Awada. Yeah. I kind of connect those two together. I thought you stole them. Why I hit so hard. I thought, <laughs> oh, I, tr I thought about it. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I turned the camera. And the puppets are just thick. <laughs> <laughs> Special guest Falco. <laughs> Actually, yeah, I have um, the Star Fox dog tag. Um, I had the set of four, and I gave the other three to uh, my friends in high school. Um, but I still have Star Fox one uh, hanging up over here. Nice. Yeah, think... behind me. I don't know if you guys can hear me. I can hear you yeah. a little bit. Uh, I do have, of course, the fucking 
amiibo. Of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have those too. And then when Toys R Us was a uh, RP Toys R Us soon, but um, I went a couple weeks ago and grabbed. Uh, oh, Slippy. that was yeah. Ah, oh, Slippy. And I do need. They have a Peppy. They have all the characters, but they do have a Peppy also. I need to get Peppy just so I have at least the the gang. Okay. Yeah. Because we're never getting a fucking Slippy or Peppy amiibo probably. No. <laughs> there was rumors of uh, when Zero was coming out, they were gonna do a line of like R bows and stuff like that. And I really fucking want oh, that. that. I would love, cool. I would love R wing like model or like a statue or something. But we'll that see. Cool. Maybe if this racing game is true, they'll do a line of R wings. Them, them, them inside the R wings, like have the R wing and then the character popping yeah, dude, out. Oh, like if we had like R wing model kits. Oh, dude. Yeah. Ooh. I've dude, always like, wanted that. that. Like, so... I thought we would get like even a Lego set of something like that. Yeah, but it's weird. Dude, I was so engulfed in this world that like my first band, I like it was just like me, like the stuff. I called it R wings. Mm -hmm. Like, That's... it was taken, but whatever. <laughs> of course. But yeah, game is that whole franchise. I know, like, there's only one. Like, there's actually only one. But the whole franchise to me means so much. Even the bad games, like. There are there are good parts of adventures. Yeah. It's only like ten minutes, but still good. <laughs> At least you got yeah. those ten minutes. Got those ten minutes. I still yeah. I have my S sixty four cart right next to me. I have my three D S one right there. So that's all I need. Yeah. And hopefully this racing one brings back life into the franchise and because that series, especially with Star Wars being so fucking big now, it deserves to be fucking massive. Yeah. But yeah, who's next? Jake. So I have to go with Ocarina of Time because of, of because I th that was in my top five for the for the games, and I remember just playing that game nonstop, just going through adventuring. It was linear, but not in a way where it's like too linear. You can still venture out and go to the different parts, but you you needed to go in the right order to you know complete right. the story, but. Just being able to, once you found out you can get a Pona, and you just be able to go through the whole land of Hyrule, it's just so much fun. The music was awesome. The Shadow Temple the still, is still amazing. Yes, yeah. to this day, still. like I, I gotta listen to that uh the orchestra version of the, of it. But that that is a great rendition of the the sounds, just perfect. Uh, Did you get the vinyl? Yeah. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Yep. I uh, saw the vinyl on Record Store Day. It was in a shop that I went to. Really? Yeah. That's that's weird. The shop also had like a lot of Mondo releases and stuff. And yeah, they had um, they had the Hyrule, whatever they call it, the Hyrule Orchestration. Yeah, and, um, Hero Time, yeah. Yeah, and they also had Hyperlight Drifter. Hmm. Yeah, I have that. Totally expensive, but yeah, yeah, it is. Go go to that store again, and if you see Last of Us. <laughs> Let me know, because you know I'm the buddy. Of mine just got his ship to him. Yeah, I saw that. I'm like mm. Moises. Yeah. Yeah, I'm like my son. Yeah, I'm like, can I have a friend like that? <laughs> I need a friend like that. <laughs> but uh, Ocarina of Time, I I can't say enough about it. I've said so much about it before. Just uh, going back and playing through that game, like even going back on the 3DS and replaying it, just brought so much nostalgia back. It, I remember when they did the whole uh, Master Quest edition of it on GameCube. Oh, on GameCube, yeah. Yeah, there's every single time like they could even put it back on the Switch and I'll play it again. I'll buy it again. Oh, I'll yeah. play it. Just I never get sick of that story. I never get sick of the temples and just going through them. Ganondorf, I think that's my best or my, one of my favorite versions of Ganondorf besides uh Wind Waker. Wind Waker. Oh, did, man. I think Wind Waker. Yeah. yeah. But I think that's my favorite version cuz they did Ganondorf, and then you had the perfect end fight with uh, Ganon. Like, the scene, the lightning striking down, Zelda shooting her arrows. It's like, it all worked perfectly together. And I kind of want, like, another boss battle like that. I thought we were going to get that out of Breath of the Wild, and we didn't. But I mean, honestly, that's the only reason I saw it on my 3DS, really. Yeah. So I could go back to Ocarina and go back to uh, Majora's. And also Pokemon Silver and Gold. I've got oh, yeah. there also. But right. Beside the point. Um, I, agree. Yeah, I mean, yeah, the, I the 3DS port is so good. What's up? I forgot I bought Pokemon Gold on my 3DS. That's got I, yeah. I did not buy the uh, Gold and Silver only because I had the uh, DS version. 
the, I still I have the DS too, but yeah, I forgot. It's good. I like the I like that version, but it's yeah. The the Ocarina port is fucking really great. Yes, I didn't think it was gonna work that well, but they did it. It's a hell of a launch title for the 3DS. Yeah, <laughs> like here's Ocarina That's Time. I bought it day one. Yeah, it's like it's the third time you can buy it. I'm like I'll do it. Yeah, I have the Zelda 3DS and the Zelda 3DS. I didn't get the Majora's Mask 3DS or new 3DS. I w- <laughs> this Nintendo fanboy here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, I had it pre-ordered on Best Buy. <laughs> and then they took too many pre-orders, so I wasn't able to get it. Uh, um, you can be fair. Like, I worked at GameStop at the time, <laughs> so you stole it. <laughs> I didn't steal it, but I, I definitely fucked somebody over. Oh yeah, <laughs> son of a bitch. <laughs> Yo, I think I could probably say this by now, dude. I legitimately huh. like during the amiibo craze, I took people's pre-orders. I didn't give a fuck. <laughs> that's like the reason. <laughs> See, that's what I always wondered, like, from all the, like, pre-orders and stuff. Like, okay, did so, who took it? Just tell me. To be me. fair, like, I wouldn't take it day one. But if you didn't pick it up day one, yeah, right. Captain Falcon was mine. Pit was mine. Fuck you guys. Yeah. How are you not if picking you really up your pre-orders day one? Like, I never understood that. Technically, like, the rule, the rule is after two days they could release it. Right. Like, that's it. Yeah. We only hold it for two days. But, I, yeah, I was very loose with that. <laughs> <laughs> I, I will say shout out to the one GameStop where I had the um, Arkham uh, Arkham Knight Batmobile uh, mm-hmm. pre-ordered, and then they canceled it all in they general. Just, they, just, and they just switch it to the uh, the, the regular. No, they didn't. Oh, no, they switched it to the statue. They did. They didn't for me because they were all taken at the time, so I never got mm. the statue. So I had to get the regular edition. But GameStop had that uh, exclusive uh, uh, Rocksteady uh, Batman shirt for Arkham Knight and it had like the Batmobile like in outlining in black and then it had like the symbol and all this stuff uh, one of the employees actually gave me one of the shirts they were supposed to be for employees only but I ended up nice. getting the shirt so I, I'm like hey cool yeah, that's the cool thing like they, the DMs and stuff this, this is turning into like inside baseball game style, <laughs> but um, a lot of the DMs and stuff like really frowned upon like giving stuff away to customers and whatnot right. like we weren't allowed to give away any promotional stuff because yeah up on ebay that was like your store got in a shit ton of trouble yep but um yeah if i had a really cool customer i would just give him shit like yeah they also if um let's say there's a new collector's edition that didn't really sell well let's take i think one of the ones was like the original watchdogs um we had oh, a yeah. watchdogs and just standing on our shelf for fucking ever eventually it gets marked down to pre-owned so what that means is you take the disc you make that disc pre-owned but the collector's edition stuff just it's up for grabs so mm-hmm. the employees could just take wherever the hell they want with that and speaking of nintendo the camera's gonna go down for a second oh uh, god uh, uh no uh, no uh, uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> i don't like where this is going <laughs> uh, um, that fucking wind waker hd oh <laughs> my god yeah. this went on pre-owned uh, and i was able to grab it oh uh, the one bummer is that this piece it, the other one's over there it keeps falling off up here but it's, for audio listeners uh ganon swords like he has like a string orange like string piece that's not actually attached to the statue you have to assemble it yourself and it keeps falling off it's kind of annoying matt how much do you want to kill for that statue oh i want to like oh man <laughs> like i was i was gonna give him my chart oh you can now go to hell <laughs> you can now go to hell <laughs> <laughs> Perks are working at GameStop, man. Uh, audio <laughs> listeners, this is the Majora's Mask 3DS statue collector's edition of Skull Kid. So, if you want to see these, you need to check out the YouTube version because we will have the video and you'll be able to see it. Yeah, you can see my hate. Yes, <laughs> it's it's very strong, Matt. <laughs> Anyways, Matt. <laughs> So my best, my favorite uh, Nintendo 64 game, uh, plethora of uh, amazing uh, single player games, stuff like that. Mario Kart 64. Hell yeah. Had to be mentioned. Uh, like, 
yes, Goldeneye, like, a lot of people play that. Smash Brothers, yes. But I feel like you can still go back to Mario Kart 64. A lot of people do. And yeah. that game incredibly holds up. Arguably the best one. Yeah. Yeah. Um, just everything about that game, the tracks, the soundtrack, uh, the power-ups that are in it. Um, you didn't get any of those, like, that uh, bullet bills or anything like that. You still have the star power. But, like, it never felt like to the point where, like, if you got in the back, like, you could, like, the balancing of that game, that's why it is still one of my favorite Mario Kart games. It, it mm. does feel like the most balanced and also one of the easiest to play ones. Like, you try and go back and play Super Mario Kart. Uh, yeah. But, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Mario Kart 64, man. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know if that's... I mentioned this when we were recording, but last week was Pro Day at GameStop. I had a stack of N64 games in my cart, and yeah, Mario Kart 64 was one of those. Nice. Yeah. Still expensive. They're they're selling it for like still sixty bucks, which yeah. I would gladly yeah, pay for. Yeah. No. Yeah, Mario Kart 64 is an expensive one. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I did. I, I tried the. I sold off. Sorry, I was just saying, like through the um, the new SNES Classic, like trying the Super Mario Kart on there. Oof. Yeah. It's hard. It's hard. It's hard. Yeah. It's hard. <laughs> but, it's still fun, but yeah, it's hard. Yeah. But Mario Kart 64 yeah. is just perfect. Back when I was a dumb kid and like I started just having to buy shit for myself. I used to trade in everything. And I traded so many Game Boy games. <sighs> so yeah, all yeah. my Game Boy stuff. And the most heartbreaking one was selling my N64 for, I think I did it for an original Xbox. Because all my friends were raving about Halo and stuff and I really wanted to fit in. So yeah, I sold my N64 collection and recently I've just been like with every Comic Con I go to or every trade show or anything, I've been slowly building my collection back up. So I'm at like I'm at like fifteen games, I think. Mm. So. I I want to. I just have the feeling I, the N sixty four classic is gonna come out. And... I still want the carts and stuff. Yeah. No, I agree. Like for NES classic and SNS classic, I don't I don't mind having the classic editions. That's it. I'm good, but Right. For those, I want the the carts because yeah, N64 I still is have, my console. Um, yeah, NES games, mm-hmm. Super Nintendo games, but I still have some 64 games over here too. Yeah, the only NES and SNES carts I have are um, all the Mario's. Mm. So I have Mario one, two, three, three. I still have in the box, um, and I have um, SNES Star Fox. Um, yeah. Yeah, um, yeah, I, I paid a good amount of money for Super Castlevania 4 and uh, Super Metroid. Nice. So. Yeah, I saw Super Metroid at a trade show, but I, I didn't get it for whatever fucking reason. Yeah, and this was a couple years before even the NES Classic came out. So, like, I don't regret buying them. Like, I, it's still nice to have that. Yeah, I just like having the cart just as mm-hmm. a collectible thing. I have a fucking Paperboy cart still. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Awesome. Honestly, that was that was like my first like NES experience was fucking Paperboy. <laughs> yeah. So good. I'm sorry. But we were fucking obsessed with it. I it was like a cult thing in my neighborhood. For I don't know why. It, it, that wasn't a big thing for you guys. No. When you were little. Yeah, I don't know. It was so massive around. Like my, I, I played Paperboy, but hole. no, I hated yeah. that game. Yeah. Uh, fun fact. Fucking the lawnmower. Hit sh- the hit show Atlanta, based on that Paperboy. As a reference, neither you get, right? Okay. No, cool. I've been meaning That's to watch for Atlanta. That's I've been meaning <laughs> to watch it. I haven't gotten to it, though. Sorry. The, the main, one of the main characters in Atlanta is a rapper called Paperboy. Continue with the topic. Okay. So, Mike, <laughs> what is your yeah. least favorite Nintendo 64 game? <sighs> okay. I'm acknowledging that this is a bad game. And it's probably the worst one that I've played. But Glover. I love this game. Not Glover. Glover is a bad game. <laughs> <laughs> I'm shouting. Originally, this was my hidden gem, but I moved it down a notch. Uh, Iggy's Wrecking Balls. Ugh. Oh, my God. It, that's that's as bad as, like, what was the chameleon one? Uh, 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 not Jesus. Gex? No, 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 no. There's no, like no, chameleon. chameleon. One. Kid Chameleon? Uh, was it Kid Chameleon? There is a thing called Kid Chameleon. I don't really remember what it was. I think it was Kid Chameleon. Um, but yeah, go ahead. <laughs> uh, I mean, there's not, not much to say. I don't know. I I can't remember. Uh, 
I wish there was some way to track how many hours you put into like older games. I put in or, so hell, many. Even on PS4, it still doesn't give you that. Yeah. Uh, I put in so many fucking hours into Iggy's Wrecking Balls. I was so obsessed with this game, and not even playing with friends. I played by myself, just playing the computer over and over again. Uh, for people who don't know, it's this awkward, weird racing game where you play as a ball, <laughs> and you just. It's like a it's a side scrolling racer with like different tracks that are on kind of like on top of each other and you use like a tongue or something to attach yourself up or down and just make your way through these races. It's it's terrible. Chameleon twist. Not any better. Oh, Chameleon there twist. you go. Fuck that. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Cuz you had to hit the button to get the tongue to go out. But yeah. then you had to control it with the analog stick because mm. you actually had full control of it. That game sucked dick. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's my worst, but I, it's on my list of things to rebuy because I fucking love it. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. I love that game. <laughs> Iggy's Wrecking Balls. So uh, great. So the difference for me... Vulcan and the clown. Oh, God. My dudes. Brother names, but... So the difference between you and I is like your worst game you actually love, my worst game I actually hated. Beetle Adventure Racer. No, Batman Beyond: Return oh, of the God. Joker. Oh God! Oh, yeah. Did, I don't think I ever played. Oh, that. don't. I didn't either. Don't. Freaking going in, punching, kicking, all these guys that come into one room, and then you beat that, and then you go to the next room that looks just the same. And repeat. I couldn't even. It got so boring. It was just so repetitive and so stupid. I don't even. I don't even think I got through like the first level or anything like that. It was just you go through one room, beat the guys, and it's just go into the next room. Like, wait, is this the same room? Did I even move forward? What What happened? And you just do the same thing over and over again. It's just like, nope. That was, that was like a cheap cop so out. So just DC games in general. On the 64 and stay away from. Oh, yeah. yeah. If you actually, I'm looking at a screenshot right now. <laughs> it looks bad. Like the bad. I forgot how bad it looks. Like Batman Beyond. Like his calf is thicker than his thighs. <laughs> <laughs> it looks so bad. I, and the screenshot that they have, it looks like he just got hit and his character is like, eh. Such a dumb game. Such a bad game. Never want to play that game again. It's probably from the same guys who made Superman 64. I'm glad we're doing this because I, again, when I had that cart going, Batman Beyond was on there. Oh, God. Because I never played it. I was curious. I, I Now I want you to play it. Just like, just play uh, it. I think it was only a couple bucks. So. Yeah, just You'll just buy, buy it, play it, let me know. That's that's a new show coming out, Mike's Review Show, where he just plays bad games from the past. Hey, that's money. <laughs> that's Episode money. one, Nicky's Wrecking Balls. <laughs> Episode two, Glover. Episode three, Gex. <laughs> Episode four, Mike Piazza, Super Slam Baseball. Where the fuck <laughs> was. Or you can also do, the, what was that Mortal Kombat game with uh, Sub-Zero? It was like just about Sub-Zero. Uh, oh, Sub-Zero. Oh, oh. oh. So bad. I thought you were about to talk shit about Mortal Kombat trilogy. No, 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 no. no. There was a um, there was a Mortal Kombat game just about Sub Zero. Sub Zero. It was like a side like score. score. Yeah, bad, yeah. bad, absolutely bad. But they didn't bad. change anything about the combat. No. no. Oh. <laughs> and the sprites looked horrible on that game. Yeah. Matt, what's your worst game? So okay, this game on the other platform. It might have been on PC too. Amazing, 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 amazing game. The 64 port? Fucking god awful. And for some reason, they they still ported 2 and 3 of this series on 64. I'm talking about Tony Hawk's Pro Skater. For anyone... Mike, don't you fucking reach and grab that game for 64 health. The blue cart, motherfucker. <laughs> no! <laughs> yes, the blue cart. There was a time during that stage, like between PlayStation and N64, games were like much worse on the N64. Case in point, yeah, it's not a great game, but I remember playing it and I remember liking it. This is like my guilty pleasure. It, I might save it for a hidden gem. Actually, I'm gonna save it for a hidden gem. But okay. there, there were differences. <laughs> I just remember this game. Uh, 
Actually, you know what? I'm not saving for a hidden gem because I hated it on the N64. Uh, Mission Impossible. Oh, God, that game sucked. Oh, it sucked badly. So uh. the PlayStation 1 game had voice acting. And you could like you could change it to different characters like to disguise yourself. N sixty four version, you didn't have that. There was no voice no. acting, and you could. I don't think you could even change it to different characters. Like they changed the nope. game so much, it was bad. It was such You're a bad port. Oh my god! There you, go. there you go. That's the version. I have both. So yeah. So yeah. <laughs> Sorry. For anybody that even saw gameplay or watched someone play Tony Hawk Pro Skater on it's the PlayStation. Garbage. <laughs> <laughs> on the playstation on the playstation oh. it was amazing absolutely so like, if, like you only own the 64 and like you saw this game you're like oh crap i gotta go buy this it's on my system big fucking mistake yep guys remember neversoft <laughs> oh they're not around anymore <laughs> where they had I the spear just, going through the eye i think they're just helping out on call of duty games now uh, yeah probably yeah uh, they did uh guitar hero for a while yeah after they this. did yeah but yeah, look at so, this. What a... <laughs> Do you guys remember when we actually got pamphlets in our, uh, with our games? Instruction, manual instruction manuals, yeah. Like, oh, man. those were the days. Yeah, I have, a, I have a shit ton of all my PS2 games over here. Nice. PlayStation One. Yeah. And... Oh man, it has the it has the fucking soundtrack, soundtrack listing? list on here. Yeah. Oh my god. Which one? I'm gonna read it off really quick. Yes, please do. Police truck, dead Kennedys. Yes. Here and now, here and now, the Ernie's. I, I know the song, but I don't even know that fucking band name. Vilified by Evan Rude. Uh, Superman by Goldfinger. Yes. Jerry was a race car driver by Primus. Uh, I've heard that song way too many times. Screamer and Nothing to Me by Speed Dealer. Mm. Uh, Psych. I guess Psycho Vision by Psycho Vision. Uh, yep. it, it, when yeah. the song's playing, it sounds like he's saying Psycho, Psycho Pigeon. Yeah, but yeah, it's yeah, pigeon. yeah. For the long just... time, I thought it was Psycho Pigeon. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, it threw me off because it's spelled C Y C O Vision. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't realize that was Suicidal Tendencies. That's fucking awesome. Uh, New Girl by the Suicide Machines, Committed by Unsane, and Euro Barge by the Vandals. So that's cool. They had footage from Birdhouse, Toy Machine, and uh, Zero. I didn't realize there was like actual footage. Yeah, no. Oh, at yeah. the begin when you start the game up, yeah, it has oh. the, um, yeah, the, the whole montage. And then, dude, Zero. Eight second offense coming fall ninety nine. It it, uh, it opened up with a police truck, right? Yes, I believe so. Yeah. Uh, really quick, favorite Tony Hawk one stage or map, whatever you want to call it. I actually don't remember them. I I only had the N sixty four growing up, and I Ooh. I think I played that, and I was like, "This is hot garbage," and I didn't play it. So I never got to properly play play that game. I only really remember Warehouse in school. Well, yeah. no, I remember the mall. Fuck the mall, and fuck the other one that's just downhill. Uh, I think that wasn't in one. No, that was. No, was it? Yeah. Uh, there are two stages, at least two stages in one, that were just downhill. Like, you had to start and uh, end. Yeah. Uh, the mall was one of them, and the other one was, like, some, like, canyon uh, dam I remember, or something like that. I remember like the that. canyon. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but the school, the school was great. The school was great. I think I always have a soft spot for um, Warehouse. Yeah. So, warehouse is so fun. I, I know this. I, and um, what's up? No, no, no. I, I know this could be a whole nother one shot just based off of tony hawk but which one did you think had the best soundtrack two yeah mm -hmm. yeah two yeah I agree. um it was one roswell no no that was two i thought that was two i think so i i, don't, I generally don't remember roswell was sick also but yeah i think roswell was two uh, yeah we could do a whole thing about tony hawk. oh my god we probably uh, should and <laughs> then this tony hawk section <laughs> this is hilarious <laughs> behind the disc uh for hints and tips on tony hawk pro skater call 1-900-680 or canada call 1-900-451-4849 uh in the u.s 99 cents a minute in canada 149 a minute so 18 when... year old must be 18 or older or have a parent's permission touch tone only prices subjects to change without notice okay no roswell was tony hawk one. Oh wow Oh yeah, um, 
Yeah, so... Okay, Char- so yeah, so charging for hints. <laughs> the school, the mall, and then the Chicago Skate Park, the first Chicago. Mm, yep. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then there was a downtown Minneapolis. Um, downhill Jam was the other one I was talking about. Uh, Burnside, Portland. Um, I believe that was the second um, contest jam, heat jam thing. Mm. And then you had Streets of San Francisco... These were all in one? Yeah. I don't remember streets. And then you had Roswell. Interesting. Hmm. Cool. Yeah, we should do a Tony Hawk. The, this one shot is now a main course. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> we're still going short. Okay. So am I up for a hidden gem? Um, yes. My hidden gem, which I forgot already... <laughs> <laughs> that's how oh, that's what it was. Uh, motherfucking Road Rash 64. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yes. That sexy black cart. Mm. Oh, yeah, my God. Beat the shit out of people. Yeah. <clears throat> Playing that Where game. Where is Road Rash? Where is it? There was like that spiritual successor that came out recently, but it, yeah, it, it was, wasn't it's hot garbage. Yeah. 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 Like in early access is like, oh cool, like they can really build upon this. Like I see where they're going, but it never turned worth no. I fucking adored that game so like, much. An online multiplayer road rash. Oh my god. <laughs> road rash battle royale. Yo, fucking Yeah, battle royale. <laughs> yeah, road rash battle royale. <laughs> road rash road trip. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, Please. I, I have yeah, that's one of my favorite N sixty four games and yeah. Again, didn't get enough love, and that should have been such a massive franchise. At least in like '90s, early 2000s. I don't oh, know yeah. how well it it's holds totally up. It's totally a now, '90s but... game, just with a, the yeah, yeah. violence. Oh, <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I really want at least somebody give us a proper spiritual successor to Road EA Rash. still has the license. Is it EA? Yep. Wow. There was that, the rumors of the Burnout Road Rash uh, crossover. I was really oh, hoping that was real. Yeah, like ten years ago. Yeah, I thought I thought it was more recent. Than that. No, like there was like a rumor like ten years, uh, like right after Paradise that they were gonna do Road Rash. Right, I keep but, forgetting Paradise is ten years old. But then <laughs> they uh, then they went into um, the Need for Speed games. Yeah, which they shouldn't have. But... No, no. At least the movie the movie was huge. Mm-hmm. I I actually enjoy the movie. I do too. I enjoy the movie. Yeah. Right, it's the best video game movie. Yeah, I still yeah. haven't seen it. But I've heard, Jake, I've heard, should. yeah, um, that's what I've been told. Especially since you like um, the Fast and Furious, Furious. Movies, like, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. Good. yeah. Uh, they actually do film racing cars. Holy crap! Um, yeah, yeah. You barely get that. So yeah, Bro Rash sixty four. That's mm-hmm. a hidden gem. Jake, what's yours? Mine's not really a hidden gem, but it's definitely the, a game that I played so much, and I I don't remember. I think I talked to people about it in high school, but nobody really played it. Star Wars Rogue Squadron. Oh hmm. fuck. That. Yeah. I don't know why I, I like I I played that game so much and that was like the best introduction to like oh you want to fly a, a ship from Star Wars here you go and take it down so mm-hmm. all these enemies are like tie fighters and then putting in the cheat code so you can be a tie fighter later on or, or just the, unlocking the it. Or the Buick. <laughs> I forgot about that. <laughs> Holy crap. Yeah. But, like, just being able to go through, like, all the different missions, it's, like, that that was, like, something I never thought we were going to get in a video game. And See, that's what I want back. Cause, like, I do, too. GameCube had Rogue Squadron 2 as a launch game, and that game is still beautiful. Like, yep. that game was Hell amazing. Yeah. Yep. I, I, Rogue Squadron 2, I think, is my favorite one. Um, mm-hmm. But shout out to Rogue Squadron for just starting it up, man. I forget yeah, who. We, we need to go back to space battles for Star Wars. Yeah, games. I I really Thanks. wish we. Ugh. I wish we had Factor Five still. Mm-hmm. Like. Yeah, but then they gave us that hot garbage layer. Yeah, should have just stuck what you know, but. Uh, I, I, there's just, Rogue Squadron was just one of those games where it's just it's one of those easy games to just sit down and just play for hours. And you could you could play the same mission over and over again. It's just flying through and just shooting down the starships. Just mm-hmm. repeatedly, I spent so much because, of time. Wasn't there like different like uh, goals, like like you could get like uh, bronze, silver, gold, basically? Yes, yes. Yeah. And you're always trying for the gold, and 
mm-hmm. not a lot of them were like easy. There's like a few no. first few. I think they were easy to get if you like repeatedly going through. But like the later ones were super difficult. Yeah, no, super some of difficult. Them were bitch, because like, yeah. you lose, um, yeah, you lose people in there, and like you can't lose anyone. Mm-hmm. The escort missions. Ugh. Yeah, the escort missions sucked. But I'm actually happy that it actually had a plot to it. Like it actually yeah. had a storyline through it. And I would have been happy just flying around. But they actually had a good story with it. And then I can't remember what the story was through Rogue Squadron 2, but... I don't remember. I don't remember either. I just know... I would love just a new Rogue Squadron game that takes place in the original trilogy and have it also... You can play it in VR. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That'd be... I would die. Yeah. Yeah. Cause they also, get, my favorite part about Battlefront for PS4 is the VR mission. I know, mission. the VR mission. That thing's awesome. It's awesome. Yeah. But like, if you my could favorite do Death, VR thing for a long while. If you could do both Death Star runs in VR. <laughs> yes, please. That would be amazing. <sighs> so yeah, Rogue Squadron is my hidden gem. Awesome. So mine, uh, it's a racing game. Another one. Please Extreme. say what I think you're... Oh, no, you're not. No. Extreme G. Yes, yes, yes. Um, I want it. Like a, a, a futuristic motorcycle uh, <sighs> racing game series where you also had um, uh, weapons and stuff yep. you could take people down with. But those games, you went incredibly fast. Oh, yeah. Um, so it's kind of like Extreme G and F Zero were kind of like neck and neck mm-hmm. for like neck speed. And I believe Mike is picking up a copy of the game. For- no, I'm not. I oh. for later. Oh, oh. <laughs> I was hoping he was getting a copy. <laughs> oh my god, Extreme G, man! I remember Absolutely. playing that with my buddy. I, I, we played a lot of the second one on the GameCube together. Um, but man, just racing. Well, on- actually, one and two were on 64. Was yeah. It? Oh, was it Extreme yeah, G think, three? Uh, Right? I think it wasn't it like Extreme GX or something. It was something on the GameCube. Yeah. It, it was it wasn't a launch title. It was close to it though, I think. But I I just remember sinking a lot of time into that cuz that was just one of our favorite racing games to do besides Mario Kart of course. But that came out before Double Dash did. So mm. Yeah. I I just remember playing so much Extreme G. <laughs> I play I play that over uh, F0 actually. Okay, yeah, it was Extreme G3. Uh, now I remember, yeah. It was on PS2 and GameCube. It was on I PS2? F-Zero, S64. Hmm? I, you mentioned F-Zero. I do love the N64. Mm-hmm. Yeah, F-Zero. no, that was, that was the first multiplayer F-Zero. Yeah. Well, My favorite F-Zero is the GameCube one. The GameCube one is fucking awesome. Yes. Oh, GX. Yep. That was so good. Fucking and we phenomenal. haven't had one since... <laughs> At least they ended yeah, on a good note. They killed it. <laughs> yeah. Um, just remastered. But kind of tied for uh, Extreme G with me. Um, and it actually just got released on PC again, thanks to good old games. Star Wars Episode One: Pod Racer. Mm-hmm. Pod Racer is great. The Fucking best part Mars Guo all day. All day, Mars Guo. <laughs> <laughs> Remember... When I re- Bought my N64. It came with Pod Racer. Nice. Oh. About that. Yeah. <laughs> Did you guys actually play the um, Star Wars Episode One game? I, it wasn't uh, on Power Battles. Jedi Power Battles. No, no. No. It was, was like a, it, it was an actual game. Phantom Phantom Menace game. It was it was on PC and maybe PlayStation, not N64. It was. I I remember playing it and I was like, I w- I want to get this game because it was on PC and I, I broke my disc. Long time ago, I'm like, I want to get this game again so I can like actually beat it. I tried playing. I'm like, ooh, this is bad. Like, real bad. It was real bad. I don't remember it being that bad, but it was, was real bad. bad. It was real bad. It was trash. Just you. Ugh, those oh, graph. Wow. Those graphics were horrible. <laughs> I don't recommend playing that game. Don't ever. Yeah, no. It looks kind of like a single player Jedi power battles. Yeah, pretty it, much. It pretty yeah, but worse. Fucking Jedi Power Battles is one of the hardest fucking games ever. I don't think. Since we're talking about, since we're I talking still about, have Star my Wars. copy over there. <laughs> we're talking about Star Wars, and we're talking about N sixty four. Should mention Shadow of the Empire. Of course, of course. Oh, fuck yes. Yes. That I have next to me. Also, I yes. own that. So. 
I own that as well. Um, since Matt gave a secondary shout out, I want to do a rapid fire of three really quick ones. <laughs> I don't know what order to do these in. I'll do the best one first. Diddy Kong Racing. Yes. yes. So underrated. This game is fucking phenomenal. It's so almost like, as good as you, Mario Kart. Do you want um, the new Star Fox to kind of follow Diddy Kong Racing? I'd be so into that. Yeah. Uh, like adventure you mode have, like, the, with the land. Oh, what's the tank called? And um, it's land something. Land something. Land master. It might be. So like oh, you I could have land master. You could have R wing, and then you could have a... dude. Even if the hub is the lilac system, and you're just flying around the lilac mm -hmm. system, super into that. Secondary. Diddy Kong Racing. <laughs> yes. <laughs> South Park. South Park. Oh god, video game. that was bad okay. though. Mul multiplayer was fun because it's basically just Turok. They just reskin Turok. That's yeah. the entire game. But... The story, I could never finish it. No, like I even tried using oh, no, cheats, no. and you can't kill the final boss. Cheat codes, uh, with fucking uh, that's like unlock everything, all weapons, all mm. that stuff. I still remember that because I abused that cheat code. <laughs> uh, no. And then finally, and. Criminally underrated Pokemon game. Oh god! The oh god! Here we go. Pokemon Snap. Not, not nope. Stadium. Not no. Snap. Hey, you not Pikachu. Hey You Pikachu. Okay. Pokemon uh, Stadium Two. Oh, yeah, Puzzle, Puzzle League. League. Puzzle League. I thought you were gonna. I thought you were gonna go with Stadium Two. I'm like, that doesn't count. <laughs> I have Stadium Two. Uh, shout out to Paper Mario. Paper Mario is fantastic. Loved Paper Mario. Shout out to Jet Force Gemini. <laughs> Unfortunately, it does not hold up. It does not. It doesn't. It was great back then, but it's, uh, uh, it's a part of Rare Replay. It's like I tried. Nah, I uh, saw it. I'm like, Ugh. uh, 1080 snowboarding. Yeah, that great, was yeah. that was a great one. And then I, my one of my all time favorites. I think this one was better than WrestleMania 2000. Uh, WWF No Mercy, absolute favorite mm. wrestling game of I all have time. W, I have WCW. Uh, I could I could not play the WCW one. Um, I, have, I felt like I, the controls were weirder for I, WCW. It's, it's hard as fucking hell, and you will rub down yeah. the middle of yeah. your hand. Yeah, it was it was just absolutely Shout stupid. Out to that game doing that and fucking Mario Party, the Boo. Oh, oh yeah, the boo yeah. Mini game where you yeah. had a tricycle or whatever. Oh fuck. And shout out to Cruising World because I played that wrestling Cruising game. Cruising World. Cruising <laughs> World. Yeah. <laughs> I played so much of Cruising World that that was like one of my favorite racing games, just for normal so racing have, games. I have a quick three <laughs> three game. Mike, where'd you go? <laughs> right, can, uh, I, have, I have a quick. This is three this game. is a main course now. <laughs> Whatever. So first one, my fucking yes, Rush. Yes. Rush. Yeah. Yep. Not much else you can say about. That. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Second one, I actually prefer the original, um, but my brother lost it and got me this instead. Wayne Gretzky, 3D hockey. Mm. All right. Never um, put that on. Fantastic hockey game. Uh, the checking and everything in that game. Super arcadey, which is what I love. Right. In a hockey game. Mm -hmm. Like, even, I haven't bought an NHL game since then. Oh, wait, just because, like, they keep giving shitty reviews, but um, I only play arcade mode. Mm. Yeah. This is fun. And then the Pantheon. The <laughs> ultimate fucking sports game on 64. Ken Griffey? Yes. Uh, NFL Blitz. Yes. Yeah. Haven't played that game in so long. Fucking <laughs> Hail Mary's all day. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. That's all you had to do. You yeah, just that's all you... run backwards and Hail Mary. Yeah. yeah. You got it. Done. <laughs> or uh, <laughs> the plays where like you would just hit A, B, A, B, A, B, B to have your your squad just tackle at all times. Mm. Oh. So good. All right. One. Swear to God. <laughs> but I feel like not enough people play this. Not enough people heard about it. And who has heard about it too much shit about it because it's a fantastic I guess mascot platformer. Clever. Bomberman Hero. Oh, oh, I love that game. I have never played it. 
Jake find this game and play it? Bomberman <laughs> Hero and Bomberman Two, because there I believe there's two. I think there's a sequel. Um, Dude, this game is fantastic. So there's a underrated. story. Yeah. Um, yes, great game. It's awesome. Uh, <laughs> yeah, definitely seek that game out if you if you like if you see it, buy it. Um, yeah, fantastic. This is my favorite Bomberman, like over like the standard mm-hmm. Bomberman games. I fucking love this game. That's awesome. Yeah. What are we, a half hour in? 45 no. minutes? Let's no. Oh, we're, no. Yeah, we're no more shout outs. We're done. Yeah. Mike, yeah, hit we're, the. We're oh, wait. 50 minutes. <laughs> no, there's no music. I know, there's no music. <laughs> Just going to end it like this. I don't have Mario Kart. Give me. So. Give me. I don't have N64 cartridges right here. <laughs> this is, Ninten- this is Nintendo, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Put that away. Nobody needs to see that. Well, also, they, really quick, the, the sound also of cards going together. Yeah. <laughs> uh, didn't they have like a distinct smell when you first got them too? They had like a certain smell. And the classic sound. <sighs> There's a shirt I wanted that had a cartridge and it just, just says blow me. Blow me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Sorry. Let's wrap this up. <laughs> All right. Wrap it up. Thank you for joining One Shot this week, which was originally your best, worst, and favorite hidden gem or whatever 64 game, and just became a rant it about did. how much we love the Nintendo 64 because it's awesome. And also yeah. became kind of an episode about Tony Hawk. So look forward to the One Shot or Made Course episode about Tony Hawk Pro Skater series as a whole. Or we could just do a retrospective. What's your favorite N64 game? There's the camera. I'm pointing at you now. <laughs> <laughs> so, thank you for joining me this week, Jake. Final thoughts? N64 all the way. Mike? Mm, Jerry was a race car driver. <laughs> I hate you. Thank you for listening, and you'll have a fantastic week. Later. Later. <laughs>